Ang Build, Build, Build ang pinakaambisyosong plano ng Pangulong Duterte sa infrastruktura. Buong pwersa ang mga ahensya ng pamalaan upang maisakatuparan ang plano ng Pangulo. The agencies decided to work together so nagkaroon ng interagency task force so that sa uh, Department of Finance, uh, Department of Budget and Management, NEDA, DPWH, DOTR, and then DCDA. And then that's when uh, the BBB was formed. And at that time, nobody knew what BBB stood for. Supposed to represent the President's most ambitious infrastructure plans. Yung unang hamon sa amin ni Presidente was to uh, decongest EDSA. And you know what that uh, problem meant for everyone. So nung kinausap niya si Secretary Villar and the entire team, sinabi niya, kailangan by 2022, EDSA is a totally different experience. So siguro, since day one, we've been working to decongest EDSA. And uh, kailangan siguro, we start with the numbers, uh, ilan ba yung naging intervention sa EDSA. And then that's when we realized that EDSA is a 90-year-old road, that it was built during the 1930s that the last extension of EDSA was only in the 1970s when it was extended to TAF. And then after that, hindi na natin kinalaw yung EDSA. The problem is, dumami yung population natin, it exceeded its maximum capacity by almost uh, 140,000 vehicles. So alam namin, to be able to decongest EDSA, then we have to take out 140,000 vehicles out of EDSA at the minimum to bring it back to its original capacity. Malaki ang hamon ng Pangulo lalo na at madaming problema ang kanilang kinakaharap. Maraming infrastructure ang kailangan ayusin at maging ang sistema sa ahensya. Ayon kay Department of Public Works and Highway Secretary Mark Villar, una niyang tinutukan ang sistema ng gobyerno. Opo, kaya yun ang una, yun ang nung pumasok ako bilang sekretary ng DPWH, tinatukot ko talaga yung sistema. Yun ang, kasi para ma-monitor mo yung ganun karaming project, at any one time may 15,000 projects ang DPWH. At para ma-monitor mo yan, kailangan mo talaga ng system. So dati po, mano-mano yung pag-monitor ng system. Eh, ayun, meron na po tayong software na mo-monitor sa uh, geotagging, sa uh, mga uh, electronic uh, monitoring systems, lahat po kompleto ang technology na ginagamit natin para ma-monitor. Kaya, kaya na malaki ang naging improvements sa implementation ng mga projects at uh, naging tumasa accountability para sa mga operating units namin. Dahil sa sistema ito, naiiwasan ang mga ghost projects sa pamalaan at ayon pa kay Secretary Villar, marami ang naban ng mga construction company dahil dito. And the good thing about DPWH is that we've uh, mobilized drones already for monitoring. We have geotagging technology. So in fact, before a contractor is able to uh, ask the government to pay for what it's able to accomplish, it has to submit a geotag photo. And because of that uh, reform, we are able to completely get rid of ghost projects within the uh, DPWH. So ngayon po, zero na yung ghost projects in DPWH. Sa pagsisimula ng proyekto upang balutas ang problema sa matinding trafiko, agad na ilatag ang mga decongestion program para sa EDSA. So yung EDSA decongestion uh, program natin was uh, conceptualized and was formed. Uh, ito po yung uh, master plan with 25 projects, uh, including Skyway Stage uh, 3. A lot of people are asking, was Skyway Stage 3 accomplished with the same alignment uh, that it was approved before 2016? Ah, hindi po. In fact, it was realigned in 2018. So, was the alignment of Skyway Stage 3 different? Yes. Iba na yun. When we entered the picture, yung accomplishment rate natin for Skyway Stage 3 was only at 8%. Yung overall accomplishment was about 11%. Marake yung binunu ng administration to make this project a reality. But what's good about this is Skyway Stage 3 is only one of 25 projects. Pauna palang ito doon sa pangako ni Presidente. And we can assure you that by 2022, it's going to be a whole different ballgame. Laking ginhawa din sa mga motorista 
ang pagkakaroon ng reconnection agreement. This is the first time that there's an interconnection agreement. Uh, kasama din po yan dun sa memorandum of agreement na pinirmahan when we change the alignment. So now you can interconnect SDSLEX and NLEX completely bypassing EDSA and C5 because of the interconnection agreement. Meaning, regardless of whoever owns the concession agreement, the master plan will be interconnected. Because to us, it doesn't make sense. So, Nilaban talaga yan ni Secretary Villar. It doesn't make sense that you, you have to go down to Skyway and then go up again to Edlex just because it's managed by different concessions. It doesn't make sense. And ultimately, what we want to make sure is that it's convenient for our motorists. So, yun yung pinaka-importante po sa amin. Proud ako sa mga, uh, yung mga master plan projects na natapos sa DPWH. Katulad ng uh, S&D congestion program. Nung pumasok kami, at ang binresent namin yung plano namin ng na decongest kaya sa maraming hindi naniwala sa parang pinagtatawanan pinag lang kami nung binresent namin yung plano ni Presidente na i-decongest ang ESA. Nung sinabi niya na 5 minutes, talaga, wala talagang naniwala sa 5 minutes na yan. Pero tingnan nyo ngayon, 15 minutes sa balintawak kami from pagalit po sa Makati. At uh, malaki po na bawas na kapit namin na, na napakalaki ng ink ng pagtaas ng average speed sa EDSA uh, binuksan yung Skyway at uh, pati yung mga yung bridges yung uh, Kalihaan Bridge yung Estrella Pantalyon Bridge yung Harbor Link lahat yan nakatulong sa decongestion ng Metro Manila so yung dating yung problema na wala parang hopeless na tayo naging totoo na yung yung, yung uh, EDSA decongestion Ilan sa mga pinakamalalaking proyekto ng Build, Build, Build Projects ang Luzon Spine Expressway Network o LSEN. Kung dati ang Ilocos to Bicol ay umabot ng dalawampung oras, ngayon, maaari nalang itong makuha ng siyam na oras via 42 SLEX TR5, 1,101 kilometers.